Several of you keep telling me that AGI is nowhere close, that we're decades away from real intelligence, that these are just pattern matching algorithms, not thinking machines. You may be right. In fact, you, you probably are right. And it doesn't matter one bit. Because whether AGI arrives in 2027 or never, we're still spending $2 trillion chasing it. Whether it's real or, or fantasy, companies are still firing humans to fund it. Whether it works or fails, the bubble still pops. We're destroying the economy for something that might not even exist, and that seems like it's somehow worse than if it were real in the first place. The AGI believers say it's coming soon. Leopold uh, Oshenbrenner's betting $1.5 billion it arrives by 2027. Sam Altman claims we'll have it within 1,000 days. Every tech CEO at Trump's dinner promised hundreds of billions more because they believe. The AGI skeptics say it's all hype. One commenter nailed it. Over $800 billion invested and have yet to make a working Taco Bell ordering assistant. <laughs> That's right. These systems don't think they're glorified autocomplete, pattern matching, not consciousness. AGI is decades away, if it's even possible. Here's the twist. You're both right, and you're both screwed. If AGI arrives, we built our own replacement. Jeffrey Hinton, who invented the neural networks powering all this and won a Nobel Prize, already told us it will make a few people much richer and most of us much poorer. We're funding our executioner with every GPU purchase, every data center, every trillion dollar promise. If AGI never arrives, we still destroyed everything chasing it. The two trillion dollars still got spent. The job still vanished. The company still collapsed. We bankrupted ourselves hunting unicorns while real humans filed real bankruptcy. Think about it. Right now, some company is spending millions teaching AI to recognize hot dogs and photos, while the 56-year-old with 1,000 job applications we talked about last episode can't get hired. Whether that AI becomes sentient or stays stupid, that man stays unemployed. Whether the destination exists or not, we're already driving off the cliff arguing about what we'll find at the bottom. Spongebob, probably, if we happen to be crashing over water. While we debate AGI's timeline, let me tell you about Larry Ellison. He's the founder and chairman of Oracle, in case you didn't know, and he just made $200 billion, not from building AGI, but from selling shovels to people digging for it. We talked about selling shovels a couple episodes ago. Oracle just signed a $300 billion cloud deal with OpenAI. Let that number sink in. $300 billion over five years. That's more than OpenAI has ever made, or even close to make. More than they'll probably ever will make. They're spending money that doesn't exist on infrastructure for intelligence that may, might not exist. The deal requires 4.5 gigawatts of power. That's two Hoover Dam's worth of electricity, enough to power 4 million homes all to train models that currently can't successfully take your McDonald's order. You want fries with that? Oracle stock jumped 43% on the news. Ellison added 200 billion bucks to his net worth, putting him close to Elon Musk territory. Congratulations, Larry. Oracle revealed their future obligations tripled to $455 billion and investors went, yay! Why? Because... Oracle doesn't care if AGI is real or ever found. They get paid either way. Every infrastructure provider, NVIDIA with chips, Amazon with cloud, Microsoft with compute. They profit whether we find gold or dirt. The companies chasing AGI are the miners dying in the mountains. Oracle, they're in town selling $50 pickaxes to desperate fools. When the gold rush ends, the miners go broke. The shovel sellers buy another yacht. But we're not waiting for AGI to uh, destroy everything. We're doing it right now with dumb AI we already have. Medicare will start using AI to deny coverage in 2026. Ain't that grand. Not futuristic AGI, the same AGI that uh, MIT says fails 95% of the time. They're calling it the Wasteful and Inappropriate Service Reduction Model. Wiser. Bud. Why? Wise enough to deny, deny grandma's surgery, not wise enough to make her cookies. The pilot covers six states. 
The same AI that can't understand no tomatoes will decide if your cancer treatment is wasteful. The same technology hemorrhaging money will determine who lives and who dies. They promise human oversight, but we know how that goes. Rubber stamp whatever the AI tells you and pass it on down the line. Meanwhile, construction robots are printing floor plans directly onto concrete slabs. Impressive? Absolutely. Replacing construction workers? You bet. Making money? Not a chance. But that won't stop another billion in funding, another round of layoffs, another promise that this time it will be different. The commenter who asked who will use AI or what use will AI have for money once it asserts dominance, they're right. AI doesn't need money. Larry, Larry Ellison needs money. And he's getting it by convincing everyone else to bet their futures on machines that haven't proven they work yet. I noticed the last couple of months or so, there have been a lot of stories and advice online about how to craft your resume. Look at the two job interview rules that I just found. Apparently, you can't say, I want to start my own business someday. It shows lack of commitment. Okay. You can't say, I value work-life balance. It shows you're not driven enough. You won't stay at the office 24-7. You can't even say, I was laid off without reframing it as a growth opportunity. <laughs> These aren't rules for a healthy economy. These are more like survival tactics for the Hunger Games. One commenter said it perfectly. Human beings don't need paid work for purpose. That's how we've been brainwashed. Yeah, maybe they're right. But purpose doesn't pay rent. Dignity doesn't buy groceries. And the gap between losing your income and finding your purpose, there's bankruptcy, foreclosure, and despair. Doom, despair, agony on me, whoa. Anybody else bes hee-haw besides me? Let me speak to each of you directly, whatever you believe. To the AGI believers, of which I am actually one, it's possibly coming, but it's being built by companies that burn $16 for every $1 earned. What good is superintelligence when Oracle owns everything? We'll get AGI, but Ellison will own it, and we'll end up somehow paying for subscription fees to think, more than likely. To the skeptics, Congratulations, you're right. AGI might be impossible. We're still spending $2 trillion chasing it. The bubble still pops. The jobs don't return. You might win the argument and lose everything else. To those saying, just give me UBI, with what money? The $300 billion Oracle's hoarding? I'm sure Larry's just going to dig it in his pocket out of his you know, niceness to humanity. The trillions wasted on failed AI? Who funds universal income when the only profitable companies are selling shovels to failed miners? To the conspiracy theorists connecting this to Agenda 2030, you don't need a grand plan. Greed and stupidity are all it takes, and after watching CEOs make up a bunch of numbers for President Trump at that dinner last Wednesday while pretending it's innovation, they've got enough of both to go around, greed and stupidity. To those saying AI hasn't impacted us yet, you haven't been listening. That 56-year-old uh, guy we were talking about, he's real, all right? It's, it's certainly impacted him. A thousand rejections. Medicare prepare, preparing to deny coverage. Construction workers ro watching robots. The impact is here, and it's getting worse day by day. We spend all this time debating whether AGI is possible, whether consciousness can emerge from silicon, whether the singularity is near. Those are the wrong questions. They're all the wrong questions. The right question is, what happens when we spend everything chasing something that might not exist? Answer, well, this. This happens. Oracle gets $300 billion for infrastructure. OpenAI burns cash it doesn't have. Workers get fired to fund the fantasy. Medicare denies coverage to afford the computing power. The economy eats itself, literally. If AGI arrives tomorrow, we're effed. Hinton told us why. If it never comes, we're effed. The money's already gone. If it takes 50 years, we're effed. Unless something changes. And soon. The race to build AGI is like setting your house on fire to stay warm. Whether it spreads to your neighbor's house or not doesn't matter because they've already set theirs on, house doing the, on fire doing the exact same thing. One commenter said, The sad thing with AI is that most people see the impact once it's too late to turn around. <laughs> it's too late now. We're not approaching the cliff. We're in, we're in free fall, debating whether uh, Bumble's bounce or not. AGI or no AGI, that attempt already killed us. The only question is whether we die building our replacement or chasing a ghost. 
Either way, Larry Ellison buys another island with our future. The attempt is the apocalypse, and Oracle stock price proved it's going exactly as planned. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>